I'm sure many people have experienced a stop and go wave. You need to slow down all of a sudden, and then once you clear, once the traffic clears out and you start moving, you didn't see anything that was the cause of it. Usually this is because a vehicle taps on its brakes and that creates a chain reaction that goes to the next car and the next car and the next car. And that's precisely what the technology tries to fix. Self-driving vehicle technology was born at Berkeley and uh, what we're doing this time is we're enabling collaborative self-driving. So you put many vehicles together and you teach them how to operate in coordination to improve the overall traffic. Circle is a project that we are deploying 100 vehicles with adaptive cruise control. We modify the adaptive cruise control just a little bit. And we design that to make traffic better for everyone. Uh, 100 vehicles, all running modified adaptive cruise control, 40 staff, 120 drivers that are here executing the experiment. It's really exciting to see things get out of the lab and into the real world where we think we can make a real difference. Oh, there's one of ours. Okay, <laughs> great, good, great. good. We showed that it was possible to dampen these traffic waves that come just because of increased congestion by making small changes to the speed of one out of maybe every 20 vehicles. And by having that single vehicle drive differently, all the vehicles behind would drive slightly differently and that saved a tremendous amount of fuel. So what we're witnessing today is the deployment of this idea at a grand scale. Each of the university brings something different. UC Berkeley's role in this project was to come up with the machine learning algorithms that go inside the cars. So do you notice how this shockwave is propagating much faster and also... The goal of the project is to reduce traffic energy consumption and reduce the traffic congestion. And uh, we do that by analyzing the current traffic condition and we translate it into algorithms for the cars to strategize what is the best traffic flow speed. If this works, we will be able to roll out technology that will save 10% of fuel consumption everywhere uh, where cars are used. So our hope is that many companies would be interested in adopting this so that this can be really of use to everybody. Mm -hmm.